Hello everybody. Tonight I've got a real quick project for you. This display panel on this Samsung refrigerator is not working properly. I'll go through and show you real quick here. If you hold down this button, there should be a little icon pop up. It's right here. You can't see it in the camera. For energy saver mode. As you can see it don't light up. Okay, you got your ice type and water button. There's crushed ice. It's the only one that works. Okay. Now, this works, the alarm and the lighting. Ice office is currently working. No, that's a child lock, but that's working. Top ice maker off. Bottom ice maker off. Both ice maker off. Both of them on. That's working properly. Let's look at our temperatures. You can see this is supposed to be a negative two. There's a bad segment there. And I think there's a bad segment on this side, if I remember correctly. No, this side's alright. But as you can see, this, this display panel has multiple problems. So tonight I'm going to replace it. As you can see over here, I've got a brand new one to go in it. These things are over a hundred dollars. I got this one for ninety-nine dollars on eBay. I'm guessing he brought he bought the wrong one or something. I'm not sure. But I'll show you how to change this out real quick. It's a very simple job. What you'll do up under here. See if I can where are they at? Okay, right there's one right there and it's just one screw one right there so I have to get a screwdriver pull that screw and I'll be right back okay I'm back now I've pulled that screw there it sits right there just a little Phillips screw as you can see now I'm ready to start pulling this piece out I'll show you over here on the new one all it's holding it now is these clips on the side and they are usually stubborn at least they have been in my experience I should be getting good at this I'll go into that later how many of these I've done but I'm gonna need two hands for this so I'll be back okay now she's apart I'm getting way too good at this I hate to admit how many times I've been in this thing. But now all I have to do is pull this connector right here. And this panel will be free. So I'll be right back. Can't do it with one hand. Okay now, I've got that connector off. So now I'm ready for my new panel. So here's the new panel I showed you earlier. This is panel number three for this refrigerator, and it's only four years old. So I'm going to need two hands to connect this wire back, so I'll put this down and I'll be right back. Okay, now my wires are plugged back in. Let me show you this connector on here. If you see the little tab on the top on that, that wire, just push down on that towards the back and it'll pull right off of there. Real easy. Okay, now to reinstall this, you just kind of set it back up in here. We'll try to do this one handed. See, line it up. It's lined up now. So, give it a push. You can hear it click into place. 
That's reinstalled. So now all I've got to do, put my screw back in that hole right there. And this baby's buttoned up. And of course, I cut power to the fridge just to be safe. Didn't want to fry nothing when I plugged something in. But just put this screw back in the hole. And this is buttoned up. I'll be right back. Okay, now the new panel's back on. Let's check its functionality. Energy saver. That looks good. Boy, this is brighter than the old one. It must have really been bad. But let's see. Water. Cubed ice. Crushed ice. Water. Ice. Off. Off. Both off. On. That's working. But anyways, this is display number three for this refrigerator. This refrigerator, like I said, it's four years old. It was put in back in 2012 when I bought this home. It was a foreclosure and none of the kitchen appliances were any count. So I figured, well, I would buy stuff that would last. You know, I didn't want to buy cheap stuff, so I spent high dollar. As you can see, these... Which, I mean, I've got to give it credit. I mean, as far as the handles and the build quality of the inside of it, I mean, it's good and solid. I mean, in four years of use, some of it heavy use, girlfriend's got some children. The only thing that's been damaged on this refrigerator, and I can't find it at the moment, but one of these shelves has a crack in it, but it hit this tile floor. I can't hold that against the refrigerator. But anyways, within about six months of getting this refrigerator, one of the ice, I forget which one, quit working. The light quit working. So I called Samsung, and under warranty, they sent a guy out. And he had a brand new panel with him. And he said, I'm going to show you how to take this thing out and replace it. And I'm going to let you keep the old panel just in case this one fails in a worse way. And I thought to myself, that's strange. You know, I mean, that's nice of him to show me how to do it. And I appreciate that. I love learning new things. Part of the reason why I'm such a YouTube addict, making and watching videos. But, okay. So I asked the guy. I said, straight up, is this, are Samsung appliances junk? I mean, you can see this isn't a cheap refrigerator. I mean, it's French door, dual ice makers. I mean, this, this is nice stuff. I, I figured, you know, since I was replacing everything, I would buy, see, there's your top ice maker in the door. I mean, it's all fancy. I figured I would buy it once, you know, and this stuff would probably, hopefully outlast me. So I bought all Samsung appliances, but he said the only thing that goes wrong on them is that display panel. Which, you know, that's $99 I found that one. Most of them were about $130, $140. So anyways, the guy replaces it, puts a brand new one in it. And about the time the warranty goes out on the fridge, another light burn out in the new panel. Well, that was like crap. It was still usable, though. You know, if it ain't lit up, you know it's one of the ice. Simple enough. Well, so sometime goes by, another light bulb burns out on this thing. Then it decides to quit making ice. So I'm like, oh shit, I don't want to call a technician in here and pay a bunch of money. I thought to myself, well, I have that display panel laying around that I know it can turn off the ice makers. So out of curiosity, I threw the original one back in it that only had one burnout light. Well, it started making ice again. I thought, well, that'll work. So I threw away the, the, the replacement from the warranty because it wouldn't make ice. So the original display panel just conked out about a week ago. Well, I mean, it had burnout lights, but... 
it's got really bad in the last month and that's when I decided that I needed to replace it so I spent the money and bought this panel but anyways hopefully it should be good for another six months or so maybe but anyways that's how you replace one of these if you have to replace one it's a real simple job don't pay someone to come out and do this it's easy but um you know when I bought this house none of the appliances were worth a worth of crap so I figured you know I'd go high dollar get stuff that would hopefully outlast me so I went all Samsung you know this big Samsung refrigerator this was a two thousand eight hundred dollar unit I mean I didn't pay that much for it it was last year's model at the time but I was still expensive too expensive for this crap I went all Samsung now this stove this stove has been great. Well, of course, you notice the logo. It's just a sticker, and the bottom part of the S has been cleaned off of it. But aside from that, this thing has not given me a minutes problem. But now this microwave. Let me tell you something else about Samsung and their parts. Okay, now let me pull this handle open. If you look get this thing to focus here but if you look right here in this handle there's a little plastic piece here there's a screw here and a screw here that hold your handle on and it screws into a piece of plastic that screws into this piece of stainless well this handle had gotten broken on this microwave I'm not sure if it was its fault or if it was abuse it happened when I wasn't here. I was at work. So I started looking for the part because, you know, hell, this ain't a cheap microwave. It wasn't overly expensive. You know, these over-the-counter microwaves have really went down in price in the last 10 years or so. So I went online and started searching. I actually found a part number for that little plastic piece. I could have just replaced it. But, of course, it's been discontinued. I took that part number, I went on Google, I searched everywhere for this stupid thing, and never could find it. Of course, they have the entire handle with the new plastic pieces, which is what I ended up buying. That handle right there runs 80 bucks most places. Okay, now mind you, this is a $260 microwave for the whole entire assembly. And 80 bucks for this handle? Really? That's just flat stupid. I don't know about Samsung. I doubt they'll be getting any more money out of me. But, um, so I ordered the handle. While the handle was on order... You can see these two little things here in the door. About every microwave is set up similar. You know, they're spring-loaded. Well, you know, they go in here and they depress a little switch in there that the microwave won't work unless the springs are working and depressing them to switches. Well, while I was waiting on the handle, this thing lost its spring, so my microwave was dead. Now it's four years old too. All these appliances were bought at the same time. So I already have ordered the handle. Now if they'd have both been broke at the same time, this thing would have probably hit the dumpster. But anyways, there's a little spring in here, and the little piece of plastic in here it broke off. So I got to looking at it. I took a butter knife. And I pop this piece of trim out so you can get to this mechanism here. And luckily there was enough room on the spring that I could hook it on another piece of plastic and fix that. But I kind of wish I would have thrown this thing in the dumpster. I mean, it's a nice looking microwave. I really like it. The looks of it, the buttons on the bottom, it's a really classy looking unit. Cooks well. But anyways, while I was while I was looking for the pieces, I got bored and started reading reviews and stuff on these things. And apparently this particular microwave 
has been burnt down several houses. It's been known to come on by itself and stay on. You know, it comes on while you're at work and it's on for hours, it's probably going to catch fire, right? But I've seen pictures of burned up houses. People were complaining about the handle breaking off of it. So maybe it wasn't abuse that killed that handle. I don't know. But anyway, you cut it. These Samsung appliances have really left a rotten taste in my mouth. You can see, look at these wires here. Look at that tape on them wires. See where the tapes come off of it and it's stuck down here? The tapes lost, it's sticky. I wonder if that's not a fire hazard because as you can see when you open the door up here, it hits the plastic part of the door every time you open it. I hope a son of a bitch don't burn my house down. They've been known to. At least my house is insured. But luckily enough, thank goodness, because I bought a dishwasher at the same time. Thank goodness the guy at Lowe's talked me out of the Samsung dishwasher. Which this dishwasher, I've never had a minute's problem out of it. I don't see where it lives up to all the hype that people give it. It's a dishwasher. It's been reliable. But, you know, it's been reliable. I can't knock it. But this Samsung stuff, for as much money as I paid for this, I just, I just expected better. Anyway, y'all are probably tired of hearing me complain. But I hope the display part of the video was useful for you. And feel free to like and subscribe and leave a comment. Thanks for watching and more to come later. Hopefully, at least this part of the video where I replace that display panel will help somebody. My raining probably won't. Later.